What is up, guys? Welcome back to the Lean and Mean Academy, where we talk about one truck, big profits. Today's video is one that has been long awaited for a while. I've had a lot of questions in the comment section of my channel here, and guys have been asking me, you know, they're getting started. They want to know, you know, how did I get started? And this video is mainly about how I went $20,000 in debt to start my pressure washing business. Before we jump into this, if you're looking to start your business off in 2022 and you're looking to compress time frames, compress the learning curve for yourself on how to wash, I urge you to get the How to Wash course that Mike Vidan, Justin Rogers, Cody Yarbrough from Southeast Soft Wash, and myself got together and formed the dream team and compiled a ton of knowledge into this course. I urge you to get it. It'll be the first link in the description, first link in the comments. Let's jump into it. So when I first started off in pressure washing, I actually didn't get started in pressure washing at all. Irony. I actually got started in window cleaning because I was so broke in 2016, late 2016, early 2017. I was living in my van. I had just been hit with divorce papers. It was a really tough time in my life. And I was coming off kind of a, a music career that I was uh, getting out of just because I wasn't really making any money in the game, uh, which is the case for a lot of musicians out there. So I had to have the money. I had to have money. That was my big thing. Maybe you're there right now. I was definitely there. I remember looking inside of my region's account and it's saying you have $500 to your name. It was definitely a low point in my life, unlike anything I'd ever experienced before because, you know, I was 27-ish and I thought that I would have been much farther along in my life financially than I was. So there I was sleeping in my van. I saw a guy cleaning windows at the plaza. I was sleeping in this parking lot. And I saw a guy cleaning windows. I went and got a squeegee. Long story short, I knocked down 8th Avenue and, you know, secured a bunch of, of deals cleaning windows for commercial. I figured that it was going to take me a lot of commercial window cleaning, me being a one-off guy and very, very lean and mean at that time to be able to make any money because a lot of these accounts were $25, $45. I think I did a Starbucks one time for... $55, right? And then they want it done quarterly. So I wasn't going to be able to make it. And then my brother gave me a call and told me that he had started a pressure washing business and urged me to kind of try that out. So I started doing some marketing for myself, started really just shoe leather, getting out there and hustling. And I, you know, started closing deals and renting the equipment for myself and going and cleaning those properties. And it was going good. I was closing at high ticket, which is you guys, if you ever watch my channel, you know that has been my thing since day one. If you're lean and mean, especially, um, you know, maximize your leads and close at high ticket. But that's what I was doing. And I didn't really know that's what I was doing early on. I was just saying, man, I got to have money. And I was closing hard and I was following up. And so I eventually got to a point where I had enough money to buy my own little four gallon a minute, the kind you drag around the yard, right? It was like the Home Depot special. And made about $50,000 with that piece of equipment. So understand, as the title of this video says, I went in debt to start my business. I did uh, uh, inherently, but early on, uh, I, I didn't have really even have the money to go in debt. I had to make some money before I could rationalize a spend like $20,000 on a trailer. All right. So there's a lot of space, a lot of time there that I covered in about two minutes that were hard days, hard nights, working till 6 p.m., working till dark, uh, waking up super early, marketing myself, dead ends, trials, tribulations, just learning curve that has just ravaged me over the course of a full year. After that full year, I finally got... Uh, the ability to uh, finance a $20,000 pressure washing trailer. And why did I finance it? I think that's a good question. I financed it because why wouldn't you finance it, right? I think the whole country bumpkin thing that I grew up around uh, would be like, no, pay it off in cash, man, right? I don't buy it right to check, you know what I mean? Don't pay it off in cash, man. Don't get no debt, right? That's the whole thing. But here's the thing. If I could pay $1,000 a month, right, over, over the payment, over the principal on the deal, I could 
knew that I could pay it off really quickly. And a thousand dollars a month in this business isn't hard to obtain because if you just go to work and you don't sit around, you can make a lot more money than that. And so that was my plan. I financed it and I just financed the whole trailer. The trailer came with uh, an eight gallon a minute. It also came with a 500 gallon tank and some hose reels that were, you know, all right at the time. Um, and it got me through the first year, right? Uh, these weren't the quality hose reels like, you know, Southeast Softwash or some of these guys offer. Uh, these were like the stock steel hose reels, man, that just rust out after a year. Uh, there definitely was nothing stainless on this trailer, it seemed. Um, and after a full year of learning curve and, and beating my head against it, I had eventually paid it off, you know, about a little over a year. Um, you know, cause I kept putting money back. I kept putting, I'm the kind of guy who likes to put money back and, and if I can pay it off sooner, I'm going to pay it off sooner. But that's the thing. I, I, what I'm trying to tell you guys is don't be afraid to finance your equipment. Don't be afraid because as my dad always told me, he goes early on and, and, and he told me my whole childhood, but this was kind of his thing because my dad's owned an auto shop for years. He probably has a hundred thousand dollars in snap on tools. Like that's, I might be sh short changing him on how much he spent on a snap on truck. Um, but he's of the firm belief to invest in a tool to make yourself some money. We're not talking about going out and investing in a bass boat or your nitto grapplers, right? On your truck that we know they cost about 500 bucks a piece right now. Um, depending on the size, but, uh, we're not talking about investing in a play toy. We're talking about investing in your business and investing in something that is going to pay you year after year after year. Now I still have those eight gallon a minutes, uh, four years later, five years later, like those machines still run. So tell me, was it a good investment? Of course it was like at the time it was a struggle. It was something I was beating my head up against the wall to like, should I do this? Should I not? If you're wanting to get some great equipment, I recommend going to southeastsoftwash.com. Talk to Cody, talk to Jonathan over there and, and grabbing yourself some killer equipment. They are very reasonable in their prices and um, they give the best service. They're, they're just the top soft wash provider in the game uh, and pressure washing as well. They, they build great equipment over there. Um, but that was, that was my thing is that if I could pay this off, I knew because I was scoring tickets and I was like, okay, one of these jobs at 1500 bucks makes my payment. And I got 30 more days or 29 more days left in the month. And I could do that job in a day. But with a four gallon a minute, here was the problem. That Home Depot special, a lot of people don't understand that the gallons per minute is what is holding you back. And you're dragging it around the yard, right? Because you're you don't have hose reels, so all of your hoses are scattered out in the back of your truck. Your your wash hose, your pressure hose is scattered out, um, and you're trying to drag this thing around the house. Well, what happens when you get a trailer or a skid-mounted system is now everything is condensed, and it stays in the driveway, and it's so much faster with that 8-gallon system or even a 5.5 system than it was with that little Home Depot that I was having to drag around. Now, one of the other questions that we had is, is like, would I do it the same way again? And I would say, yeah, I would do it exactly the same way. Uh, because now I have a, a, a truck flatbed system, Mad Max. Some of you guys have seen Mad Max. It's, it's my favorite truck. I'll never sell that truck. I love that truck. And I've got two eight gallon a minutes on this flatbed system. It's very compact. It can get into little nooks and crannies where my trailer couldn't get into. And, um, it's got a 250 gallon tank, uh, a, a big bleach tank on there. It's got a burner. It's got ladder racks. It's pretty much like everything I could want in a pressure washing rig as far as mobility and power. And would I do it the same way again? Of course, because all I did is I took that equipment off the trailer, transferred it to my flatbed and built out the flatbed. And, uh, but that trailer got me to that point that was over six figures in my business. That trailer allowed me the speed. It allowed us to do parking garages, right? With a Home Depot special, guys, the four gallon a minute, you're never going to do parking garages. It's impossible. It basically keeps you out of the game. So parking garages can go anywhere from $10,000 to $50,000 to $60,000 for one job. I mean, I'm sure they go up as far as, you know, size 
Um, but it allowed us to do that magnitude of, of work and think about it. If you're talking about competition, how many people can actually do the job? That's something that is key because the $99 guy with the Home Depot rig can't even do the job. So that keeps him out. So now you have a shoe in because you can actually complete the job. Is it worth your investment? Of course. So I would do it the same way. Again, I would invest the money and go ahead and put the money down because you're going to make it back for sure. If you're a guy who goes to work and you're not a complainer and you're not a communist, you'll definitely make the money back. So here's what I want to tell you to wrap up this video. Um, bet on yourself. That's my big thing. Bet on yourself at the end of the day. You've been betting on everybody else your whole life. You've been betting on school to give you a degree uh, that's going to tell someone that you can do something and they're going to pay you a mini a wage to do it. Uh, you've been betting on your teachers to teach you. You've been betting on the government to help you out. Um, you've been betting on everyone else. Now is the time in 2022 to bet on yourself. Finally. Now look, if you're just going into business for the first time and you're not an entrepreneur, it's going to be scary. No doubt. It's supposed to be though. We got a lot of guys in the inner circle. Um, there's a lot of six figure earners in there now. A lot of guys are going to double and triple their business this year. But we do have some new guys who are the young tadpoles, right, who have never been in business before, and they're facing those fears early on. And the group urges them along and holds them accountable and loves on them when they lose a big deal or congratulates them when they get a, a good deal. But that's one thing you need to understand. You are going to hit roadblocks. It's going to be challenging. And that first year is supposed to weed you out. And it does. You just don't get to see it because there's tons of people who get in the game and then they're weeded out the first year because they simply just can't hack it because of their prior conditioning to expect someone to give them something. Let me tell you something. There is no boat coming for you. No one is coming to help you. Now, you can have friends and family, people who love you to help you out. You can have me on the channel, help you out. If you're in their inner circle, I'll hold your hand, help you out. But no one is coming to help you outside of there. No one cares outside of there, whether you win or lose. And so now it's finally time to bet on yourself and believe in yourself in 2022 and this year to make something different happen in your life and make a transformation happen in your life unlike you've ever experienced. And I'm going to tell you, you can do it because I was down and out. It was some sad nights, bro. That first year, I couldn't even buy Christmas presents for my son. And that hit me harder than anything else. It was, it was, it was interesting if you have things happen in your life. It's like the one thing that sticks with you is always kind of weird. And that stuck with me and it hit me super hard. I had to basically like take out a loan for my family to buy gifts for my son. And at 27, you're like, I should be able to do this. And, and, and things have changed now. Things have changed much for the better, but I'm going to tell you, if you bet on yourself, it can for you as well. So I hope you guys got a lot of this video. Subscribe if you like the channel. Um, like this video as well. And um, it definitely helps out. And comment below if you have any questions about getting started or financing pressure washing rigs or, you know, equipment or chemicals or anything like that. And I'll try to come back and answer those for you. All right, we'll talk soon.